Yo! It's me. My table. I just want to come on here to chop it up a little bit about the time that me and a very close friend of mine decided to blow up the fucking schoolyard with a smoke bomb. How's that for a story, huh? So let's just get right fucking straight into it, you know. Uh, there's no... I don't like to beat around the fucking bush. Because it seems like I just hide in my fucking room and I just hit record and that's all that happens. Anyways. So, I was I, I was a fucking terrible kid. I was so bad. I did not give a shit. You mix that with being young. Not being enrolled into such a oh, good school, you know. You're going to have some problems. So, what? happened was I had a nice set of friends who we all we were just bad in general and we all decided to one day bring in some smoke bombs and not only that but we wanted to make it fucking known we wanted to make it known that we were troublemakers so it was I want to say about four of us if I remember right no actually you know it was five of us so we all decided who is going to bring what, what the hell we're bringing in, matches, uh, whether it's going to be a lighter, a smoke bomb, or uh, whatever the case is, right? So like I said, we're in, we're super young, so we shouldn't be messing with none of that stuff, right? Fire, imagine a kid bringing fire, you know what I mean? Like, it's, I'm basically ratting myself out here. So we all decided to bring the stuff, right? Uh, I was in charge of... Just bring myself, actually, now that I think about it. I didn't bring nothing. And I think that's the reason why I got off scot-free. So, my main friend brought the matches. Another buddy of ours brought uh, the smoke bombs. And then another buddy brought uh, water to set it out. Like, quick, just in case shit gets out of hand. We gotta go ahead and dump everything. Sure enough... It's time to, we're on like lunchtime, that re that mid recess break. It's like a 15 minute little rest period that they let the kids go on. So we go to the main quad area. Uh, we're all sneakily just hanging around, you know. And we did some like movie shit where we all just like randomly link up there, you know what I mean. Everybody was separated up until that point. So then we get there, right. And they went, I got there late because I was held inside the class. So they went ahead and still did the fucking process, right? They lit up the fucking smoke bomb. It was a dark red fucking smoke bomb, right? They lit it up and they ran. And then the guy with the water uh, runs back to go ahead and try and see if he could put it out. Because it, start it started to get big and they fucking realized how messy of a situation this was going to be. And, and it was terrible when I tell you how fucking... Maybe it's because of the fact that I was small. But the smoke was so fucking big. The cops came. The helicopters came. Everybody fucking came. There was a uh, fire department. Police officers. Like I said, it, the school was on fucking lockdown. So after it was all said and done, right? The guy comes over to pour the water in. Um, realizes he can't turn it off. So everybody just books it, dude. All five of us, different fucking directions. Me and my main guy. Uh, we weren't inside the restrooms. And it was like those restrooms that are under some, like, stairs. They were super hidden restrooms. Nobody goes to those restrooms because it was fucking creepy. Uh, I got a lot of scary ghost stories on that restroom itself. But anyways, so we had inside those scary-ass fucking restrooms. Um, and it's just, like, one stall and uh, one fucking pisser right there. Uh, so I decided to hide inside the stall waiting for somebody to come in. Because I knew somebody saw us. Somebody had to have seen us go in there. Sure enough. They did. The only problem is they didn't see how many. So my friend. Thinking the coast is fucking clear. You know. After so many cops. Everybody looking around what the fuck's going on. He steps out the restroom dude. And they fucking grab him. Put him in the principal's office. Dude gets suspended straight off the fucking bat. They, they don't even decide to check on that restroom because... So they just assumed it was just one person in there. They caught two of the other guys right off the bat as well. Um, and me and one of uh, the other guys, uh, we ended up getting scot free because, for one, they didn't know I was a part of that group because, like I said, I showed up late. 
and I didn't bring none of the utensils, so they couldn't have, you know, they couldn't even put me in the mix. And the other guy, he got off because he was fucking snitch and he was ratting everybody out. Um, you ratted me out too, and they just sent me to the office. You know, the typical interrogation shit. You know, um, and yeah, my friend comes back after his suspension. Dude comes back already full of fucking ideas to cause another fucking scene. Um, that is also great for another story. Anyways, that was the time that me and a couple buddies of mine decided to throw a smoke bomb and cause fucking chaos in the elementary school in third grade, fourth grade-ish time. I don't really remember such a long time ago. Anyways, I'll catch y'all on the next one. I got a bunch more stories coming. Hope y'all are ready for uh, Thanksgiving coming up next week, Christmas, everything. All right, peace out.